Hi, my name is Adil Khan. I'm a lifelong teacher and principal and the founder of Magic School. I'm so excited because today we are launching Magic School for Students, or as we've been calling it, Magic Student, and so excited to show you what that looks like and how you can get your students to start using AI responsibly uh, with so many really cool use cases that I know that you're going to love and we know will help prepare our students for a future that will likely involve generative AI more and more. So uh, if you track to the screen here, uh, I'm going to click Magic Student, and that's the first change you'll notice on your Magic School dashboard. And you'll see a lot of student tools, and these are tools that students uh, would be using in their classrooms alongside their assignments that you're building for them. Uh, we have Reina for students, so a responsible uh, chatbot with guardrails for students. Students can build their own chatbots from scratch. They can create skits. They might do a rap battle between some authors or historic figures. Uh, they can rewrite a text into different tones, maybe their own short story from the perspective of different characters. Um, there are tools that help them get tutored with AI so they can take maybe even home with them and use. There are character chatbots so they can talk from, to famous characters from plays or historic figures to see their different perspectives. Um, there are so many really, really fun and useful tools. Um, I'd be remiss to not share the writing feedback tool, which I know will be a big hit. Students can use this to get first pass feedback on their writing before uh, turning in that final assignment to you for that uh, final look. So lots of really ex exciting stuff students can use. And that toggle is not meant for students, it's meant for you. This is where you play around with the tools. Uh, we of course have our exemplars built in um, for you to see how a student might use these tools, um, like this book suggestions tool. Um, so you can play around with Magic Student on your side of the dashboard first before you decide that you want to launch tools to students. So play around with them here to understand how that they're used and uh, think about how you might want to include them in your lessons. And then when you're ready, you can launch tools to students by going to the sidebar and clicking this button called Launch Tools. And now you'll get to a new dashboard and uh, you'll see the existing rooms that I have launched here. Um, but let me actually take you through the process of launching a new room once you've figured out the tools that you wanna launch. So I click Launch Room on the top right. Now I see the available tools. One of the features we love about Magic Student is that you can launch whichever tools and whichever combination you'd want. You might even just launch one tool to a student and not the whole dashboard or two or three or maybe every one of the tools as students get older so they can kind of choose and think about how they're using it. But in this case, I want to give them Raina for students, writing feedback, and a chatbot builder just to get them introduced to some of the cool features of Magic Student. Um, and when I'm ready, I know that these are the tools that are going to be launched. I'll click Launch Room. And I can select the grade level the student's in. Uh, in this case, we'll, we'll keep it to be ninth grade. And I'm going to say Period 5 English class. And these are the tools I'm sure that I want. And I'll click Launch Room. And now I'll have a QR code. Uh, a code for the room, as well as a direct link to the room. So students can go either to student.magicschool.ai and put in this code. They can scan this with their phone and join right away. Or you can put this link in uh, their classwork for the day. So they can just click this directly from, um, from their classwork. And in this case, I'm just going to copy it so you can see what a student's view would look like if they were joining Magic Student. Um, I'm going to paste that and open it. And you will now see uh, this Magic School uh, thing. This is what, if a student pl pl uh, put that URL in or joined, uh, they have this here. I'm going to put a deal as my name and I'm going to join the room. And it, you're going to see this flag. Obviously, responsibility is so important when students are using AI. And every time a student joins a magic student um, instance like this or a room, they will see this uh, responsibility flag. And it just reminds them all the, the important ways that they need to be uh, responsible when using AI. And uh, after they read that, they can click accept, and then they can use the tools right away. I'm gonna try Reina for students, and I'm gonna say, what are some tips for the big state exam I have coming up? How should I study? Even though I didn't spell right, it'll be okay. It'll give me some really good uh, examples and responses. One feature that we love in Magic Student, and this is especially uh, useful for, for students who are learning different languages or even younger, um, you can click Speak. Tips for studying for the big state exam. One, create a study schedule. 
break down the material into manageable sections and allocate specific times to study each day. And uh, you can see it has a really awesome natural voice for Raina that can help students uh, sound things out and it will read whatever is produced back to them. Um, and then this is the student's um, side of the house. And then if I go back to the teacher side, you'll see that I had joined that link and I can click and I can see the full history of what that student has been doing. So I can monitor for safety and to see how they're using it well or not using it so well so I can support them to be better prompters, better users of, of uh, AI to support their learning. Um, and then I'll show you a couple other things you can do. Uh, if you want to uh, pause the room, you can click pause. And what that will do is it'll see, you'll see on the student side, your teacher has paused the room. So I can still see the tools, but I can't use them right now from the student side if I'm on the pause state. Um, and then if I click lock, the whole room is locked. So the student can't access this room from that link anymore. And if I click resume, the room is back open. Um, so that's a couple other things. If, you, if a student accidentally closes it and needs their join info again, you can show them the join info here. Uh, you can also do that from um, the actions button for an individual student so they can go see their old outputs to make sure that they're in the actual room that they already started uh, by clicking actions and show the student join info. Um, and if you want to remind students what tools they have or remind yourself what tools you assign, you can see that in the show tools. Um, and you, of course, can delete the room uh, if you don't want it anymore. And again, uh, you can see all the rooms that you've created right here on your tools dashboard or your rooms dashboard. Um, and uh, you can expect in the coming weeks and months, we will have many more tools. We will have many new features in our student side of the, of the product. Um, but for now, uh, we are so excited for what it is in this moment. Uh, but, and we, we can't wait to see all the ways that you use it with students. So uh, don't hesitate to give us feedback. Um, and we, we are so excited to build this alongside you as our, our community. And uh, we hope that you love Magic Student. Even more importantly, we hope that your students uh, get exposure, responsible exposure to AI so they can be prepared for their futures. And uh, look for a lot more additional resources to support you in using this in your classroom, as well as new features uh, on the platform as the weeks and months go on. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy using Magic School uh, for teachers, for educators, and for students. And uh, we'll be back in touch soon. Thank you so much.